There's a base hit to right center field. It may be in the gap. It is. It's going to go in there. September 1st, 1971. To me, it might have been the game that changed baseball. The clubhouse was a free-spirited, didn't hold back on anything. The one thing about that clubhouse, you believed in yourself. As you know, the Pirates of 1971, most of us, if we were just normal, we had at least six minorities in the lineup. And, and the event that happened, like I said, it wasn't, I don't think it was pre-planned. The lineup would be posted, say, at like one o'clock. And with that team, you, you pretty much knew if you're gonna be in there. And then there was a comment made by the, uh, oh, my bad boy says, um, Homestead Grays are playing tonight. And it just went right over my head. I, you know, I wasn't even thinking about what, what he had been saying. As the day went on, I'm going through my routine and getting ready for the game, and I couldn't get out of my mind what this kid had said to me that afternoon. And now I'm out there in center field, and then I looked to my left, I saw Stargell. Then I looked to my right, I saw Clemente. Then I kind of turned around, and then I start counting. Dave was sitting next to me in the dugout. And I looked at Dave, I said, Dave, you know what? We got all brothers out here, man. Now, that's when it dawned on me what he was saying because the all I'll say uh, uh, the all Negro League team was out there. They cast the many. Come on, we have a nine player in the field, black player in the field, and Clemente said, "Come on and sit down beside me." Said, we have to win this game because that's gonna be the more important game ever. I think like in the first five, first first inning or so, we were down like four or five to nothing. We pick it up, then it's cold. I don't know how many runs, but we came back. We took so much, so much pride in, in winning. We took a lot of pride in winning. You know, we never looked at it uh, as white or black. We looked at it as Pittsburgh Pirates. The one thing that Murtaugh said, and, and he was true to form on that, was I put the nine best guys out there that I felt was going to win for me that night. I believe to this day, that's where he looked at it. He wasn't concerned about all uh, minority team on the field. Then he called me. He said, Manny, that's special because I put that I know because I know you guys are going to win. And it's unbelievable. And I want to say that that's for me, that's the best game I never catch. So it happened to be nine. Nobody talks about how many times they're, uh, that same team, it was, it was seven, it was eight. But just that one time when it was, it was nine, it might have opened up a lot of people's eyes. And I'm talking about in management throughout baseball. So we, there was a lot of things that were going on in this club that people didn't, didn't understand or didn't realize. Just the, the sacrifices guys had to make. Uh, to be a part of the team. It never dawned on me that it would happen that way. And I'll never forget uh, uh, some of the hardships, some of the things I had to endure. Uh, Pittsburgh helped me grow as, as a man. And this is the 50th year. None of my kids were born. My daughter was born in 72. My son was born in 75. And that's my grandkids, which is four of them. They all will be here. It's gonna be a great time for them to see that. It's gonna be a lot of players that they didn't see, but there are a lot of players that I've told them about. And they got a real good idea how great a team that 71 team was. That is hit well. A Clemente home run and the Pirates. Now a squeeze by Jackie Hernandez. McNally's throw wide of the plate. 
Sean Gian scores. The older I get, the more I appreciate it. Because it didn't happen before, and it hasn't happened since.